Behold, the Lord will come, and all his holy ones with him, and on that day there will be a great light. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The peace and grace of God be with each of you. As we gather for prayer and worship on this Advent morning, let us pause for a moment to call to mind those areas of life in need of forgiveness and reconciliation. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look with favor, O God, on our prayers, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we eagerly await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and strength a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands affect afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, 
set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one, knows who the, no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to his disciples in private, Jesus said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the great uh, pleasures of the uh, Advent season is uh, hearing, as we do, these uh, wonderful images from the book of the prophet Isaiah, especially from Isaiah. And as I was uh, thinking about this uh, scripture reading from the 11th chapter of Isaiah, uh, I remembered that I was over at the school yesterday afternoon as the uh, teachers, especially the preschool and um, kindergarten teachers, were preparing uh, packets to go home since we, our school, is going to be uh, remote now until after uh, the new year. And uh, so they were preparing these packets, and especially uh, the preschoolers, the pre preschool teachers, all the art projects, all those little things that they, uh, they do every year, um, many of which get taped to the walls and the halls and uh, around the rooms, and the little gifts that get sent home. Um, they were preparing all this stuff. So there was scissors and there was paper and there was this and that and glue and all kinds of stuff being put into a packet to go home. Well, one of the things that uh, we'll certainly miss that activity uh, in the coming months, 
until we're uh, until they're back in session again. But uh, one of the other things that I hope we're not going to miss is uh, the activities that go on in the classroom, uh, especially in the spring, when there are the chicken eggs that come into the to the incubator to um, have the kids watch as they chicks peck their way out and uh, see how many of them scurry around the cage. There's also the uh, watching the butterflies uh, come out and fly away, be released uh, to go wherever they go, to, to seek the, uh, the colors of, the, of nature. Uh, and all those things that, um, that are images of life springing forward. Well, this is the, uh, what we hear in this passage from Isaiah also. Isaiah is painting this wonderful picture of uh, how the, the earth that has been waiting and waiting and waiting, uh, like the seeds that get planted in those little Dixie cups and waiting for them to sprout and uh, to grow so tall they tip over. Um, the, everyone's waiting for this great new growth, these new fresh buds to sprout, to come forward. Well, that was an image for Israel its, itself, the people of Israel waiting and waiting, waiting and waiting for the promised Messiah. And, uh, but they saw signs of hope. They saw signs that God would be faithful to the promise that had been made to bring forth the Messiah. And so this uh, season of Advent is our season of, of hope, our season of waiting, uh, our season of watching for the chicks to peck their way out of the eggs, watching for the butterflies to hatch, uh, watching for uh, the fullness of God's presence to be more fully revealed in our lives, in us, in our actions, in our words watching for that fullness, more fullness of God to be revealed in our society, in our country, in our city, in our families. It's a season of watching and waiting, waiting in hope, waiting know, knowing that God will be faithful to the promise made and the Messiah will come. Let us now give voice to the prayers we bring this day. We pray for the uh, students and the faculty of our own school and for all the schools uh, around the nation and around the world, that as we uh, try to uh, come to some normalcy of life, uh, our children may not be uh, disadvantaged or left behind, we pray. We pray for ourselves and for all the church as we progress through this season of Advent. May our lives more and more reveal the fullness of God's love and peace, we pray. We pray for all those who have died, especially those we've been asked to especially remember this day. For those who are ill and for those who care for them, we pray. Let us pause for a moment to bring to mind those other prayers we bring with us this day. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O holy and gracious God, hear our prayers, grant our needs. Stand by us as we await the coming of your Son. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
How blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Be pleased, O Lord, with our prayers and offerings, and since we have no merit to plead our cause, come to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming our human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to salvation, that when he comes again in glory, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and the archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O oh God, you are indeed holy, you are the source of all holiness, and we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when they had finished supper, Jesus took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks. And giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now join our voices to pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray.
strengthened by the food of spiritual nourishment, we ask you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this sacrament, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you with the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of God.